there, the innocent it with Just Add Water Floating Camps. I've got two different boats with two different refrigeration options, so we're going to talk about how to keep your food cool. So we're talking refrigeration options today on our houseboats. We've got two that we're going to show you. The Combo Propane Electric Refrigerator on Nomad and a built-in ice box on Rome. So on Nomad, we have a Combo Propane Electric Dometic Freedom four cubic foot refrigerator, slightly larger than a typical mini fridge. And it does have a small freezer up in the top that works pretty darn well. Um, I primarily use it in the propane position. It's very efficient in that uh, pr position. And then um, it also does suck quite a bit from the battery if I have it in the electric position. So just to be as efficient as possible. So you can see uh, in the bottom here, really clear directions on how to either light it in the propane um, position or to operate it in the electric position. Moving over to Rome, our cooling option is a built-in ice box. So it's essentially a built-in cooler and we estimate uh, a typical cooler size is about 48 quart. This one is probably double that just with the depth. So it works really well. Uh, I can keep stuff cold on here at a refrigerator temperature for about four days when it's packed full of ice packs and ice. Um, really important to include drainage uh, so you don't have to scoop out the water or the ice as it melts. Um, so this just drains overboard and it's potable water so we're fine with that going into the lake. And the design of this top uh, is basically our countertop so having the ability to lock it in the up position so you don't have to hold it while you're trying to load and unload food. And from a design perspective, if I had to do it all over again, I would actually cut this top into two separate hinged doors so you can open one and not the other. Not only does that help with your counter capacity and horizontal space in the kitchen, but also allows for less of the cool air to escape when you're accessing food from the icebox. So those are the two options that I've decided to use on both of my houseboats. Once you've decided what works best for you, most importantly, you can kick back with a cold beverage at the end of the day. Remember to like and subscribe for more content and let us know what options work best for you on your liveaboard.